live, late-breaking, investigative. This is KCTV 5's More in the Morning. 8.55 on this Friday, 65 degrees outside. TV stations all across the country are just minutes away now from going all digital. I think it may have affected the screen behind us. Well, yeah, get ready to say goodbye to any analog television sets you may still have in your home. We'll have much more on that in just a moment, but first, let's get a quick... Check of the traffic with Rhiannon and Alley. Rhiannon? Hey, guys. Yeah, 63rd and Oak, a reported car drove into an, a 7-Eleven over there. So crews are on the scene of that. Make sure you're aware as you're heading out. Not hearing reports of major injuries, but we are still making calls on that. Heading over now, let's show you the highways this morning. Taking a live look, 435 finally moving after an earlier accident. This camera facing northbound, that accident was up near Stadium Drive. That's been cleared up. All lanes are back open. Now over on the Kansas side, 69 highway, an accident down near 151st. It is southbound, but as you can see, southbound on the left, not impacting traffic, not slowing things down a bit. Over now, if you're heading in from the north lane, take a look. 35, there's your southbound traffic on the left side. One lane has been blocked southbound. It will remain blocked until 3.30 this afternoon. So avoid that bridge. Take another one. Broadway, also Heart of America, look great as well. And right now, let's send it back to Chris and Carolyn, I believe. All right. Thank you, Rhiannon. And yes, it's 8.56. I tell you what, while we're waiting for the DTV countdown here to begin, Gary, why don't you give us a peek into the weekend? Certainly we'll do that. Right now we're looking at mostly cloudy skies every now and then. Uh, like right now, the sunshine found a little hole in the cloud cover. Enjoy every ray of sunshine you can because things are changing. We're looking at cloudy skies for most of the day. 65 right now, south-southeast winds at about 7 miles per hour. Temps generally in the 60s everywhere. Blue Springs is now back down to 69 degrees, kind of joining the rest of the club here. But it will be in the 70s before you know it. To the west, we have a couple of lines of showers. This one in Wichita is kind of sinking southeast towards Springfield, but this line of storms to the west will be impacting our weather later this afternoon. If it holds together long enough, right now it's doing that. Salina over towards Lindsburg, that line of showers moving our way, but at the same time, it's kind of fading as well. We're influenced by high pressure to the north of us. That high pressure is actually in Minnesota, but casting enough of that high pressure our way to kind of gobble up some of the raindrops as they come in. 73 degrees by noon, 77 will be your daytime high today. Tomorrow, 81, mostly cloudy skies. Saturday night, a chance for storms. Sunday, about a 50-50 chance for rain with a daytime high of 78. Monday, a chance for storms as well. Hey, Chris, Carolyn, we're looking at summer-like heat by next week. By Wednesday, Thursday, we're flirting with 90 degrees. Again, I will believe it when I see it, Gary, but thank you. Oh, it's coming. It's 857, and so is the digital transition. We're just now a little over two minutes away from the biggest mm -hmm. change in television, really, since color TV took over black and white. It is the DTV Transition Morning. KCTV 5's Christina Medina is live at our transmitter, waiting for the big switch. Christina? Yes, we are getting ready and counting down here. We do have two of our engineers joining us, Mike and Doug. They will be the ones who will be officially flipping the switch. Now, we were talking just about how long this signal has been on the air. This transmitter, nearly 28 years. It's been very reliable. It's, it's running very well right now. We hate to turn it off because it's producing some fine pictures right now. But yeah. it has to move on. And when they do flip the switch here, the noise is going to uh, be a little less. It's going to be less noisy, right? Yeah, uh, we'll hear the quiet, so to speak. So. But a uh, lot of noise right now. Uh, it's going to be a different world down here, that's for sure. And they were telling me a little bittersweet as well. Now, we do know that people are going to have a lot of questions still when we do this switch over now in just less than a minute. So we do want to go over some main points here. If you do need a digital converter box for your TV before you watch your favorite shows, you are going to need to do one very important thing after the plugs are in place. Grab the new remote that comes with the box and then lock the new channels. There will be a welcome screen and minutes to take you through the process, but there is one tricky question. Okay. All right, so um, it should only take a couple minutes for you to double check that. We've got all sorts of information on that, but let's come back out here live in just a couple seconds here. Let's go ahead and count down and take a live look here. Let's press it. Here we go. Flip. Go ahead. Flip the switch. 